Hi there, us again. Welcome to the second in our three-part series on how you can tell data-driven stories using Import IA. Today we'll be looking at food prices in Africa. Now this is another recent study undertaken by Oxfam who were previously manually going around markets in East Africa collecting this kind of data. We're going to show you how using Import IO you can start to monitor food prices without having to go to a market in Nairobi. To do this, you're going to need to set up a free account with MFarm. MFarm is a Kenyan site which posts daily the fresh food prices. And with our resident expert Alex here, we're going to show you how to build an authenticated extractor so you can start getting some insights into food prices in Africa. Enjoy. Thank you very, very, very much, B. Um, it's Alex Jimson back here. So today what we're going to be looking at is getting data from behind a login. If you watched the first episode, you saw that there was a stage where the browser asked us, is the data that you want to extract behind a login? Uh, in that example, uh, it wasn't. But in the one that I'm going to show you now, it is. So I'm on the MFarm website here, which um, provides people with data about how much uh, Kenyan farmers are selling their produce for. Now, it's all good, apart from if we click on the daily prices, we'll see that we need to sign in or sign up before continuing. This is not a problem at all for the IO browser, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to get this data. So, as always, we toggle the IO button to bring up the workflow. We always play, press let's get cracking, and we are going to want to use an extractor. Now, does the site require a login in order to get the data? In this instance, it does. And what we're going to have to do now is record our credentials, i.e. our username or email address and password. And that's how we get past this stage. So we click on I'm there. And we need to hit record to track our login actions. So we hit record and the page will refresh. And now we need to simply put in our email. So today I'm assuming a new role as Beatrice Schofield. So I'll type in Beatrice. Schofield at import.io. It always feels weird typing someone else's email and we put in our password as well. And click sign in. And once we're all signed in, we simply click stop. Now we have recorded our credentials and we're free to extract all of the data from behind this login. So take me to the next step. And now we need to go to the example page. We need to go to the page what we want to get the data from. So I think in this instance, we'll be looking at strawberries. Let's just scroll down to the bottom here and find strawberries. Excellent. And click on filter. So this is the data that we want to get. Now we can click on I'm there and detect the optimal settings. If you remember the first episode, this is where the browser analyzes the web page. The data that we want to extract is still in the browser. So we don't need to enable JavaScript here. Clicking no would do so. We're left with these three options now. As we discussed earlier, a single product page, a multiple search result page, or our beta feature, auto table extract. In this episode, we're going to be looking at auto table extract. Now you saw before that the data that we wanted to extract was highlighted in green. This is letting us know that the browser has recognized that there's a table on the web page and it's extractable using our auto table uh, extract tool. So let's click on that one and I'll show you how easy it is to extract all of this data. So, you can see by simply hovering your mouse cursor over the table, it turns green, and if you click and then press Extract Table or click Enter, it will get all of the data that you need. Et voila, all of the data with a single click. Now we do as usual, I've got what I need, and now we get the option to upload to Import.io. Now, as the first episode, we can add more pages here, but save time, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go straight to the data set. So, upload to Import.io, give it a name. Let's call this one MFarm. Click OK. It does its usual checks. These sometimes take a little bit longer with the authenticated APIs, but there you can see we've made an API and we can see the data in the data set. Now, it's slightly different for authenticated APIs than unauthenticated APIs in the way that to actually see the data, we need to put in our credentials again. We can do this by hitting the query button and putting our credentials into the pop-up. So again, I assume the personality of Beatrice Schofield and type in her import.io web address. 
or email and put our password in. Clicking on apply will show us all of the data. And there you have it, extracting data from behind a login. B, it's over to you. Thanks a lot for that, Alex, and thank you again for joining us in this very special webinar. And thanks to Oxfam for allowing us to show you their use case. Okay, until next time, happy data hunting. Bye for now.